Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in AutoCAD 3D. First of all, we'll start with this shape. So we will construct first of all a line of 76 units and then we will create another line of 64 and right after that we will create here a line of 6 because here we have 88 minus 76 so that means 12 divided by 2 because it's equal so that means 6 units. So 64, 6 and then we will go up with 5 units. So let's get started. Line command 76 and now we'll go up with 64 units, 6 units, and 5. Let's have a look again. Right now we need to construct another line from this point of 36 units. And then we have in here another line of 60 units. So let's get back. Line again from this point, 36 units. And now let's construct another line of 60 units good now let's put it exactly in the middle right here so let's create another line from this time starting from the middle let's find this point yeah exactly 100 select this line apply the move command and go exactly the middle if you cannot find the middle, just press these settings and it will appear a window full of options. In our case, we must find the midpoint. Good. Right now, let's select this line and let's move these points until here and here. We will apply now the mirror command because it's symmetric with these lines. This one, it will be our mirroring line. Erase source object, no. And let's have a look again. Here we need to construct another rectangle, so a rectangle with the dimensions 36 and 20. And right after that we will place it exactly in the middle again. So rectangle, let's say from this point, 36, tab 20. Select the rectangle, press move, select this middle, until here. Now let's have a look again, because we need to construct four circles. So with a radius of 27, radius of 19, a diameter of 38 and a diameter of 20. But because these two circles are the same, we have basically just three circles. Diameter 20, radius 19, radius 27, exactly from this middle. So circle command from this point, radius 27, circle again, radius 19, and the last one, circle, from the same center, D from diameter and press 20. Good, right now let's select the entire drawing, and let's apply the trim command, and here as well. We can now delete this part. Activate again the trim command and delete this part too. Good. Let's have now a better look here. And now it's the time for the press pull. So here we have a thickness of 40 units. With the first circle we have 20. And with the other one, with the other arch, we have 20 plus 10. So that means 30 units. So press pull for this time 40. Let's switch the drawing. The command still is active. The other one 30 and the smaller one 20. Let's have a look now. So change into shaded with edges. And here it is. Okay, now let's select the entire drawing and write rotate 3D. Shift right click end point. Select for example this point and now write the angle. So I'll press 90. And now our drawing is better. Good. Let's change again. So into 2D wireframe. And now let's change the UCS. So shift right click endpoint. This one it will be the X and this one it will be the Y. Good. And right now let's create two circles. So let's have a little calculation first of all. Right now we have from one point to the other we have 126 units minus 88 units 
you see, from this point to the other. And now divided by 2. So, in other words, from this point until our center, we have 19 units. So, we will create a circle with 19 units here on the x-axis. And with the y-axis, we have 20 units because it's exactly in the half. So, let's go back to our drawing. So let's create a circle. And because the origin is here, we will write 19 tab 20. And the first circle, it will be with a radius of 10. We don't know the circle from interior here, but we will assume it will be with a radius of 5. So, circle. Press 5. Now, let's construct a line from this quadrant point until we reach this edge. So shift right click perpendicular. The same line we will copy in the other side as well. So select this line, copy command and copy to the other quadrant point. Now let's select the entire drawing here and let's apply the trim command. Good, let's create another line Shift right click endpoint. Select this line, select those two lines. This one, this one, and this arch. And press join. To have one single boundary here. Now we will apply the press pool, but we will apply the press pool just with 10 units. So press pull, select the surface, be sure you have the good surface because it's very very important. Okay, with 10 units. Now let's apply again the press pull but for this time for this circle and let's build it up. To be even more clear we will apply now the subtract command. So select the first object and the second object. And here it is our hole. And now select this part, right mirror, and now shift right click midpoint and select a midpoint. But be sure it is a good one. Erase source object, no. And here it is. Our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.